when you talk about the mncs the multinational companies multinational companies have given rise to the huge amount of opportunities for all of us the lives of the people have been changed drastically after the entry of mncs into our cities earlier to earn salaries of five digits was a dream today an young graduate can earn more than a five digit salary that's how the mncs have started to influence the lives of the people and now moving on to our context of understanding mncs when we get the mncs into the picture of urbanization they already started to influence the society because they also need water which category of water fresh water because they provide opportunities for many people so they need more number of availability of water resources and not only the availability of water resources they also need the availability of uh, power power meaning electricity here so the electricity requirement also has been increased with the urbanization and with the mncs coming into the context of the common man's life when we talk about these two aspects we can analyze that water is also being a significant contributor for electricity by getting hydro power hydro electricity though the share of hydro electricity in india is not so high as it is in the western countries in india we have 22% of the entire electric power generated from that 22% is being contributed from the hydro power projects in the indian land and these water requirement for the mncs power requirement for the mncs for the city life for all the comforts for all the modern equipments today you can't use even your mobile phone without having power supply you can't use any laptop you can't use any mobile phone you can't use any of the gadgets which are of electronic use without having electricity so electricity has become the utmost important requirement after water the electricity is the most important requirement to the common people in the modern cities so all these things made the water to become more and more scarce to a situation because we also need to generate electricity from water so like this the water has been become a very very important resource for all of us to think and to preserve it and moving on to a different situation from here here in the both the cases it may be in the case of the farmers in the understanding of the water management or in the urbanization people are the direct contributors for the scarcity of the water people are the direct people who are making the situations to become worst who are creating a situation of hazardous to the people but now we will move on to another situation where there is a huge availability of water in a place but could not fulfill the needs of the people how is it possible there is a huge availability of water to the people in that particular place let us call it as a city but the people of the city do not have proper water what is the problem here the situation is though there is a huge availability of water here the availability of water is not sufficient enough for them to have a healthy life because the water is being pure impure purely impure there we have the mixture of chemicals fertilizers and acids getting mixed into the water from various factories this also has been a side effect of urbanization industrialization so because of this though the water is available in full amount because of the chemicals which have been added to the water that is a danger threat to the people if they use that water so in order to safeguard themselves from falling into the danger of the chemical spread water they need to get water which is pure and safe from the other corners of the part of the city where it is becoming very difficult for them so there are situations where water is present abundantly but could not be used for the daily requirements of the people so there are various other phases of availability of the water also for us and the bad quality of the water will definitely influence the health of the people so after a thorough discussion we can conclude this segment saying that 
this is the need of the hour what is the need of the hour of the entire world is that we need to preserve water carefully water is a very very important resource for all the human mankind so we as a part of the human mankind community we need to take a significant step to safeguard the water which is being like a immediate breath for all of us if we don't safeguard the situation now because of the actions taken or made by some of the people of the mankind like the farmers doing their contribution the industrialists doing their contribution the urbanization resulting in chemicalization of the water so all these things would definitely start to impact on the environment once the environment gets impacted that results in the health hazardous situation for the people and imbalance ecologically when the ecological imbalance is been created that can definitely affect the entire mankind resulting in the devastating situations so it is must and mandatory for all the human mankind to take significant steps to safeguard water and also to use water in a better way than in the present using situation we need to save water that is the utmost call of the situation and the hour of this period if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus